Hello everyone. Today we'll analyze a building similar to the ones we did before. The difference in this case, we'll start our geometry with space claim and then we'll analyze it as usual with workbench. As you can see on the screen, basically I build this static structure in here. And for the geometry, I opened a space claim. Window, as you can see in here. So let's build our geometry and then we'll analyze it with workbench. To do that, I want to work on the ZY plane and I'll back up my sketch in this direction like this. And then basically I'll work on a 2D space by clicking here. And before I do that, I'll go to my file to space claim options. And I will change my units to imperial and feet. So I'll draw my sketch. My first column is 10 foot. Then I'll create some beams. Then enter. Then another beam, will make it 12. And the last one will be also a 10 foot. Then I'll create my columns by going down like this. And I want the height to be the same as 10 foot. From the end of this last span, I'll go again 10 feet. And from this one, I'll go down also 10 feet. So basically these are my first module of uh, the building. I look at an isometric view like this. Now from this simple unit, I'll create the rest of my building. But before I do that, I'll go to prepare. I'll pick up a cross section, which is a rectangular. And from this, this rectangle in here, I'll edit it such that I have a dimensions of my beam. It's one foot. And for this dimension, I can also modify it by clicking here. And then I make this as one foot, enter. And I'll go back in here and I zoom on it so you can see its extent. So this is the cross section that for simplicity, I'll use for the columns and the beams. You can create as many of these sections as you desire and you can assign them differently to different parts of the structure. I created my beam, I go back to my design and I'll assign this beam that I created into these columns and beams like this. So all of them will have that uh, cross section can show you on a solid beam like this. So you can see that we have the cross section like that. All right, for the display, I go back to my wire. And now I go back to my design because I want to continue working with this uh, bat. So basically I'll make a pattern of these beams. I pick all of them like this. 
then I want to generate four of these units and I'll make the spacing 10 foot. I choose the direction where I want to generate that is the right. I want them on the left side. Then I hit the check mark and I have all my beams created like this. Next step is to create beams on the other directions. Now, if you work like this, you'll be working in this plane right here. I want to work perpendicular to this plane. So I just hit the 3D. And when I create my lines, they'll go in this direction like that. And I can hit escape start it again so i won't connect the last ones like this similarly i can do this one as well like that and for the last one i have a beam here and i want to skip this bay then i have another one here and i'm done now i go back and also carry the same cross section that I had before for all these beams here. Something like this. And if you want to see that I created all of them, I can zoom or give it a size like that. Once I'm done with this module, I can also create the slabs by filling between these edges in here, like this. And I repeat the process for all of them like that. Here's one more, and I have a few more I can finish. Like this. And similarly for these last base, I also have created those slabs and basically I have all of them. I can go back to my structure in here so I can see the tree and I want now to build this building in the vertical direction. So I'll do it in two steps. I just won't pick up the beams. I'll keep these surfaces I can big by having a box like this. I say I want to make to make a better. I pick up these guys and I want this guy to be included as well like that. And I want to also create the direction for do that let's just keep this to three stories and i choose the vertical direction like this and i hit check mark then i have my slabs basically created like this I haven't created my beams just to clear this little bit. I can clear all the slabs and I can pick now all these beams and columns in the vertical direction, say generate as well. And then I can put all my, the rest of my structure to show them in the picture. 
Now, before I go to workbench, I want to make sure that everything is connected so that when I mesh it for the finite element analysis, everything is connected and works as one unit. To do that, I'll make sure that I combine all these structure together in here. So that basically will, co will combine all the slabs. So I have three surfaces in here. So basically all these are now created as surfaces like this. This is the first one, second one, and third one. And they are all connected. I go to work bench. And also I make sure that I share all the edges and the vertices that are in the structure. So basically, you can see here that it tells me that I have many of them. So I can select all of them. You can see down here that I found, the program found 69 edges and 48 vertices. And I also make sure that all of them are connected. And maybe like to write one more time, just to make sure that everything is connected and I have an information there is no more objects to connect. So pretty much I, that should be uh, good. So now my structure is ready for uh, analysis. And it's always good for this case now to just save my project, I'll call it building seven. And I can go now to my mechanical module and I can update my geometry from the space claim. Let's zoom in here so we can see the whole thing. I click on this guy and here is my geometry. I noticed that I have question marks about these surfaces. So basically the program doesn't have a thickness of those surfaces. I highlighted all of them with shift key and then I give a thickness of six inches. And also at the same time, I'm gonna change this material from structure of steel to concrete. I want my structure to be concrete and I'll do that also for the beams. So everything now is in concrete. I can go ahead and generate my mesh. And if I click in here to get a 2D elevation in Y and Z, then I can assign a fixed support on these nodes. I, I can pick all of them by a box select like this. And I apply, then this will be checked that I have a support. I can also add unit weight according or the weight of the structures itself by adding standard gravity and noticing that my vertical direction is the Y, then I change this to minus Y direction. And let's just look for that solution into total deformation for now. Then I can solve my structure And by rotating it, I can look and make sure that 
everything is connected and the deflection looks reasonable under the own weight. Remember that this span was slightly bigger than the others and that's why it has more deflection under its own weight. And then we can add uh, several other quantities or stresses or strains. And we can also add different loads that we can analyze with workbench, similar to what we did before in our videos. Uh, for this one, uh, we'll uh, leave it here because the emphasis was to show you how to use space claim to create that simple model. And later on, we can continue from this point and uh, discuss some more features of Workbench itself and how we can uh, get some extra stresses and strains and all other quantities or loading conditions that we might need for this particular structure. With that, I thank you for your attention and I'll see you next uh, time.